then. Can you hear me? Yeah, hi. Can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Can you. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. okay, awesome. All right, I'm going out into the bright sunshine now. So, uh, yeah. So how's things? Well, I'm, uh, today, God, at least the landlord, he got, uh, I don't know, he had to be operated on, so he he's left, he's in rehab or something, so at least he's gone, so he's not bugging me. The cokehead heroin addict, he's been on vacation, so I, the other day I got so fed up, I went to the, you know, around the corner to the 7-Eleven where the cops hang out looking for a cop, try and see if they'd come and tell him to, to, to shut the hell up and leave me alone. <laughs> they Lucky for him, they weren't there. Then this morning, the other guy, the, the black man who lives here, he, I don't know, he had some sort of... Editorial guy. Um, <clears throat> he, you know, I, I had to call the paramedics, and they took him to the hospital, so I don't know what was going on there. But he was, you know, on the floor this morning. He had stayed down there last night, so I don't know, something happened during the night, and then... Uh, so I called the paramedics and they came because he wasn't responsive. I said he, he didn't, you know, he didn't pass out. He wasn't unconscious, which is a good sign. So hopefully that'll be okay. Then I'm waiting. Uh, can you hear me? Hello? Hi, are you Hello? there? Yeah, okay. I don't know. It was an internet connection, so that was yeah. my side. Um, so anyway, he's going yeah. off, <clears throat> and I don't know. I'm working on some artwork right now. I'm going to try and do some artwork. There's This is, I mean, outside. This is near Columbia Road, uh, or Mount Pleasant Road, and maybe even get some donations that way, but I need to to zen out and until the restaurant opens there's not much I can do because until I'm working nobody will rent me a, another room so basically I'm kind of like okay well start the eviction process uh, I've sent did you see what Trump just said that he's not no. gonna he's not gonna leave willingly I guess that was the past couple of days so everybody's flipping out about that I mean, the more and more people flip out and the more and more Trump, uh, you know, uh, digs down his heels, and he, because it's not him, he's doing what he's being told, uh, uh, the more and more they do that, the better and better my situation, and the more and more people are going to realize that if we don't <coughs> attack these things in the courts, uh, it's going to end in bloodshed. So, you know, I'm just waiting again. I'll do what I did in 2016. Work on, I'm going to do some artwork. Uh, make some cookies. And hang out, you know, during the day and work on that. And just wait. Until everything just, <clears throat> you know. Hopefully, I, I've got a call. It's too late. We're Friday. So on Monday, I'll call this lawyer see if he got my information and hopefully that'll get the ball moving and we can avoid bloodshed because it's just getting worse and worse so so how are things going in Telluride? Oh good um, still at the restaurant um, it closes October 3rd and Johnny is begging me to work full time this winter and I really don't want to I could work three nights and I want a ski pass but anyway we really haven't even gotten that he's just like and the chef is leaving so the restaurant is totally not good yeah well so, yeah well and it's it's humming along really smooth we're, we're only four people we got a great team and Janice the wife oh god she's awful is not around and yeah. we're making money Everybody's making a lot of money. 
Yeah. Well, that's that's kind of surprising. Um, what? Who are your clientele coming in? There are people that own second homes here. So they're coming uh, on. They're coming on vacation. Yeah, with more to stay. Yeah. And in fact, he could even keep busy if he waited until October 18th, which is when the gondola closes. But his mom, you know, passed away what about a month ago now. And he's got to go back to New York. In fact, I think he's flying back for like three days. But he said, I have too much to do. And the town of Mountain Village, so I'm hiking, so I'm starting to breathe. Town of Mountain Village is putting in old gondolas in the core for additional dining. Yeah. But I don't know how that's going to work and how how's the wait staff going to know when they need something. Yeah. I don't know. We just brought that up in a meeting yesterday. Yeah, well, this so, is, you know, the the restaurant where I'm working. I haven't heard one word from them. Um, well, I mean, they're, they're going to have problems because I've, I've got to, you know, they should be open by now. They were renovating, so they're not closing for good. But, you know, if they're hiring illegal immigrants but uh, not taking me back, they're going to have problems. Because even, well, you were a hostess, yeah, but I can wait tables, I can work in the kitchen, I can bus, I can work behind the bar, I've done it all. So mm -hmm. I can do any of those jobs that you have these immigrant girls doing. And I won't sleep with you, and I won't put up with your bullshit, and that's why you have them and not me, but it's going to bite you in the ass. So, I mean, as I say, I'm just... The, the, the landlord doesn't want to accept any money, so for me, it's a cash flow positive. <clears throat> I just keep my cash and use it for, you know, living expenses. And, uh, you know, go ahead, start the eviction process. We're running against the clock. It, it's, you know. How, how long does it take in D.C. for an eviction? Three months? Oh, my God. It took them eight months. I mean, this was in 2016. I went through the whole damn thing because the the landlord jacked it from 750 to a thousand dollars, 800 for a damn room. I'm like, no freaking way. I'll see you in court. Um, that took eight months. That took eight months. And this, yeah, in this Colorado, Colorado, I got that tra crazy traveling nurse out yeah. within two weeks. It was three days. If you haven't paid rent in three days. Then you post a sign by the landlord telling them that they uh, that they have seven more days to come up with the money and the late fees yeah. per the contract. Otherwise, you're going to file eviction. Yeah, but Kendra, this and, yeah. is this this is not this is not a case. He's trying to turn it around that I don't want to pay him or I don't have the money to pay him. That's not the case here. When he told yeah. me, because I told him, I said, I'm not getting all the unemployment. He said, that's your problem. I said, no, it's both of our problems if you're going to take that stance. So this is all about a jurisprudence for public policy issues about the landlords. Um, yeah. You know, I mean, Lucy, with her, her meeting that she had to get to about this whole landlord stuff and these model uh, things that they're doing, this is all bullshit that I'm seeing all over the place. And, and I mean, it's going to bite everybody in the ass for, for doing this because all they do, it's, it's what the UN reports call window dressing. But, it, it, you know, what, what it needs to do is go to the courts. And this is the war on drugs has, has gone a total breakdown in the rule of law. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah and yeah. just like prohibition. So, you know, um, yeah. you know, I, I mean, well, I just wanted to make sure that you weren't on the street. So I got, got glad you got a place to squat for eight months. Well, we'll so, see how long it. it takes. And the thing is, is, as I say, if I get a lawyer, um, one yeah. of these big lawyers to start moving in this town, uh, you know, things are going to turn around real fast. Yeah. Um, I mean, one of the girls, the activist, said, oh, you're such a charismatic leader and everything. And I said, well, yeah, because I don't just, I'm not just out there trying to get on some freaking podium. I'm trying to get some stuff done and reverse the damage that my generation and my parents, my mother's generation, the Nancy Reagans of the world and the Cornelia Guests of the world, 
followed by Paris Hilton and Kim Kardashian have done to this country. Um, you know, I mean, it's, it's ba as I told this asshole who was here, um, you know, this, he, he has no manners whatsoever. I said, you know, this is just like with Emily Post. She did the same damn thing back in the 20s, saying, my God, we need a little bit more etiquette and good manners. <laughs> And, and, you know, women who are showing, my God, like Paris Hilton, she shows her, you know, vagina all over the frickin' place. I mean, what kind of example is that for the, the young girls in this country? It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Now, I mean, well, you know. You know, things are good. I just came back from a camping trip on McPhee, and uh, I've got my house kind of rented for 12 months for good money, and I'm going to go live in my house in Montrose and get my garden going. Uh, the town of Mountain Village has waived my farmer's market fee if I apply by October 1st, and I think that's because they want to use me for advertising. Yeah. Because I did all these cool chef demos. Oh, that's because good. I wasn't able to sell the Yak Burgers because COVID. So I, I regrouped. And um, so... And then, oh, Harley's property, we're turning into a venue for weddings. It's 60 acres, and we've got about 35 acres, which is totally flat, and it's irrigated landscaping, so we'll definitely have green grass because we're in a drought, and unless it's irrigated, it's just not, not naturally green. Yeah, of like course not. Course. Yeah. You remember, so, you remember the grass in Tucson? You remember how they used to try and grow grass in Tucson? No, I don't remember that. Oh God! And the the, the schools they they I, and it was you know I mean you couldn't grow real grass and it was I mean one kid who had come from someplace in the north, I remember at the schoolyard he was like, "This isn't grass. This is a bunch of weeds you guys got on the ground here." Yeah. I was like, this is the best they can do with the, the, the water supply we've got. But, yeah. Um, and uh, so we had a professional photographer, a friend of mine, Michael Mowry, who is exceptional at landscaping. And he's coming to take pictures of the fall foliage. And we're putting together, we invited all the uh, wedding planners a couple weeks ago. And the couple could make it. A lot of them said, I'm busy send photos so Harley and I are going to put a, uh, a packet together yeah. and send them out to the wedding planners and uh, this gentleman that wants to buy my condo, he's in the industry and he was very interested in it so that, hopefully if I could just do weddings oh and I turned down uh, cooking classes and working at the restaurant, everybody's uh, some people have just moved here and bought places yeah. Or this is where they're going to live. And they're like, oh, we need food during Christmas. And I said, well, plan ahead. Let's make a bunch of, not we, I make freezer casseroles that have enough moisture in them, my Southwest Mexican or my bison lasagnas. And then, oh, you have a salad. And I pull that together and I'll be able to get that done. And just trying to make it easy for them and easy for me. So they're like, oh, great idea. Yeah. And they love... Well, they love the service, and I'm out there hostessing, and they're like, we haven't gotten this exceptional service in so long, and then some other old people are like, oh, yeah, Kendra's Kitchen. So, if I well, just do nice. my Airbnb, and my house in Montrose has been rented, and the condo was rented for two months in August and September, and then October, I've got rentals for Airbnb, and... The time to clean between each one and then this other guy and his two dogs just one man single professional uh wants to move in november 1st for a whole year yeah and pay top dollar because the resort's paying for it and so yeah so you know i'm delighted i still haven't collected my unemployment and i don't know any what's of up it with that. any of it no, and it's in there in the claim box. And I got Jade to see if she could get it. And then I scheduled an appointment with the workforce in Montrose. And we had a scheduled 
phone meeting and I had the phone right next to my ear, totally on. And she said, oh, I couldn't get in touch with you. And I was like, well, I received other calls that day. Yeah, well, and this, is the, this is the normal bullshit and run around. I mean, this, this is what my whole court case, you know, is about with the landlord that I'm trying to get moving with Capitol Hill and everybody here. And the NGOs should be on top of this. And the legal clinics that if they don't get the money into the hands of the people, you know, it's great to promise all of this, but you can't spend, you know, what you don't have. And they've got to get, you know, do that, and instead of concentrating on putting it into the hands of the corporates and the, the business owners and stuff like that. Because as, as I'm going to demonstrate with my, the restaurant that I've been working in, um, you know, I, I'm sure they've, they don't care about their workers. And all they care about is getting that money and using that money, you know, to make their renovations or whatever else. But they don't give a shit about the workers. And that's well, not well, where the money my, is being used. That's not where it's being put into the economy. My, my passport, it, nobody can get into that. Yeah. I have my own pen. It's, I have my own password. My employer can't get into my... But that has nothing to do with it, Kendra. The, 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 the insurance, the, the unemployment stuff, that goes to the people. Yet, that goes directly. Your, your employer has nothing to do with that. However, the, the policies that they're doing is focusing more on distributing the money into the corporations and the business owners and they're not focusing enough on getting the unemployment and getting these bailouts for everybody that's where you know where they'll keep their economies their meat and potatoes economies alive and 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 they're not doing it and that's going to have a huge you know when all of this is over and you have you know, the Great Depression with all of these people who have been made homeless <coughs> and, and destitute, then, uh, you know, it's going to be a mess. Well, I don't know, I'm on hold. Hello? 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 Well, I gotta get going. <sighs> Always just... How about that? They, they live so in denial. <laughs> it's not even funny.